founded on August 8, 1967, by Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand, ASEAN was joined by Brunei Darussalam on January 8, 1984, Vietnam on July 28, 1995, Lao People's Democratic Republic, and Myanmar on July 23, 1997, while Cambodia joined the association on April 30th, 1999, covering more than 4.5 million square kilometers in total. The total GDP of all ASEAN countries was predicted to be around 3.08 trillion US dollars in 2021, which was a significant increase from prior years. This was a result of several years of steady increase, indicating the region's booming economy. ASEAN is built on the goal of boosting regional economic growth, social progress, and cultural development, while also promoting regional peace and stability through a commitment to justice and the rule of law in regional relations. The association has been a driving force behind Asian economic integration, striving for the creation of one of the world's largest free trade blocks and the completion of six free trade agreements with other Asian countries. Looking at the growing population and demands that come with it, it is estimated that power consumption in the ASEAN countries will be tripled by 2050. This is where nuclear power comes in. As nuclear power has the potential to boost industrialization and rising earnings, especially in a new, smaller, safer, and more flexible designs, are likely to hit the market in the coming decade. In Southeast Asia countries, there is currently no nuclear power plant producing commercial electricity. However, pro-nuclear advocates offer a variety of reasons for pursuing nuclear power, including increased domestic power consumption, more economic activity, and lower electricity costs. It is evident by different examples around the globe that it is a very costly to construct and experience cost overruns and delays in order to ensure that needed level of safety to produce electricity through a nuclear power plant. According to the report, ASEAN's first nuclear power plant could be operational by 2030, with two more possible by 2035. The first half of the 10 Southeast Asian countries, including Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, and the Philippines, have been identified as front runners due to their developed legal and regulatory frameworks, nuclear energy infrastructures, and human resources. The Philippines even built a decommissioned and nuclear power station in Bataan in 1985. The authorities are now considering some preliminary plans to restart the facility. Vietnam and Japan have also agreed to develop plants together. On the other hand, Indonesia has three research reactors as well as a well-developed policy and regulatory framework. Indonesia has also reached an agreement with the US-based Thorcon International to build a 500 megawatt floating molten salt reactor. Thailand is not far behind as well, as they had a research reactor since 2007 and have been working on a policy and regulatory framework. Once operational, these nuclear power plants will positively impact the region's economy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please share and leave a comment. We love reading your feedback and don't forget to subscribe.